Hello, it's John here for another tutorial and today we're going to be looking at how we can make custom particle systems. This is hopefully going to be a good beginner's guide tutorial and should be fairly straightforward. So what you want to do is you want to start, I'm making my canvas 256 by 256 always in pixels because we're game designers and you probably do it 512 by 512 but you know relatively small because particles themselves are quite small and you do want to save memory when you're drawing them. Um, so here we have a very sort of simple star kind of system and I'm just using Sketchbook for this but really you could use Photoshop or any other tool and your particle system uh, let's just make let's just make another one let's also make a dash um, so I'm just going to create a new layer and I'm going to set it to white and I'm going to turn on my smoothing brush and let's also put some horizontal in there too. There we go. So something again simple like that. Let me turn my background on and just set it to a colour so we can see it. So you know this time we've got a dash, let's just uh, paint bucket it too. We need to clean these areas. Oops. So again, as a particle system, your texture can really be anything you want it to be. Um, you can also have a particle system without a background, but uh, what I do recommend is you have a background, but you set it to black. Because something with like a mask, um, it can look good. It depends on sort of this thing that you're going for, but it is usually a little bit more memory intensive and it might not always work on stuff like mobile, mobile devices. Um, so here we go. We've got two textures now. We've got one like this which is just same sort of system i'm going for like a star but i've also given it um a bit of a, a gray highlight too and then we've got this one and the black we're going to cut out in unreal um by using an additive system so let's just save these we're just going to save them both as a png and import them into unreal there we go so i've just saved these Save them as PNGs, but actually probably should have saved them as JPEGs because we're not using the alpha channel. The JPEG can sometimes come through um, a smaller file size. Though, I mean, this is only 43 kilobytes. I think this will be fine. <laughs> um, but like I say, it's you know, something just to be aware of when you're optimizing. Now, in terms of the material, let's create, get our first one and create the material, um, which I'll go star and let's go matte. Now, your material setup is going to be fairly straightforward. So we've got a texture and maybe you want to, I'm just going to deselect it and you're going to want to have a particle color. So I'm just going to right click type particle color. Then you will want to set your blend mode to make sure you've got nothing selected and we'll click blend mode and change it to additive. And we're just going to set this to a square so we can see it as well. And we're just going to multiply these together. So this way it's going to get the texture and it's going to um, add whatever color we set it to in our particle system and we could if we wanted to and let's um, add a little bit of emissive color as well that's going to make it glow and I'm not going to do much let's just do four four is quite a lot and let's save it and give this a second cool so now we can see that we have this star and it looks fine it looks quite good doesn't it we can you know Save and close that now. Um, and what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to uh, be cheeky and duplicate this and call this line uh, underscore mat. I should put like a P in there to say particle. And all I'm going to do is change the texture to save me just recreating these. So just dragging and dropping that one in there. So now it's going to be the same thing. And we can save and close that. Cool. And now for making the particle system. So we're going to right click in some space and create a new particle system, um, which we'll just call. Um, Oh, this is going to be a terrible name, new particle um, system. You know what, I'm just going to call it collectible. Collectible, because it's sort of a bit collectible-y. And open that up. What I always like to do as well, um, just because, I mean, this is nice and it's all fine and dandy and stuff, but I also like to usually drop one in my scene and sort of have a bit of a side-by-side a -side so I get a bit of a better idea about what this is looking like. I'm just going to stretch this out now. Right, so this is our particle system and it works on these stacks 
each one of these controls a different thing that happens in our particle. So let's st first start and just like we'll work down. Let's go to required and let's change these to our stars. We need to drag our star material under. And that's going to take a minute to compile our shaders. Um, but as well, inside required, these this is where you might change a few things such as like the emitter rotation more importantly the duration like if you don't want it, if you want it to last forever set it to zero if you don't want it to last forever um say it's like four or how many times you want it to loop um and we don't really need to worry about any of these other ones for this one let's actually just give this a second Okay, so we can now see our star. So let's continue looking down. We'll go to spawn. Um, and there's two sections here that you might want to mess with. First of all, there's the um, amount that we spawn. And that seems quite a lot right now. But So we can just have a look at that, how that works. But I'm just going to set that to zero to show you the type. Or there's burst. Um, and what this will do is it'll just spawn a bunch at a time. See how that works? Um, but for my particle system, I'm just going to stick with that. Lifetime is how long they're going to actually last for. And it's always nice to have a bit of variation here. So some do not last and go further than others. Initial size, again, so sort of what it says on the tin, really. So nice to have a bit of variation here too. So some will be a bit smaller than others. In fact, I'm going to make it considerably smaller than others. I think the whole thing's a bit big right now. There we go, looking a bit nicer. Velocity, again, this sort of says what it's doing, which way it's going. You can change the amount of like up. Like right now, I think it's actually quite fast. And I think it's nice, but I actually don't want it that fast. I want it a bit slower. But means I want a bit more life. So I do want them to get high, but I don't want them to uh, have as much, and I don't want as much left and right. So I'm just going to half buff of those. And then we've got our color over life. If we hold shift and click a drop down, it'll open everything. So this is what color we initially start with, and obviously it's a star, so let's go a bit more yellow. Um, it's coming through quite white for two reasons, because obviously um, our second member is also white, um, books. We've got quite a lot of emissive on. So let's sort of have these ending in a bit of a, a darker gold. Again, that's looking all right. Um, but if you did, if you did want um, it to look a bit more your color, I think we maybe shouldn't put four emissive on. Maybe just like one emissive, two emissive, um, multiply. Might have given us a bit of a nicer effect. And you know what, let's end a bit closer to red. There we go. So where it says one, that represents the end of time, by the end of sort of time. If you, so if you wanted it to go red a lot more instantly, you know, we sort of see a bit more of it there like that. Um, cool, that's looking all right. And then if you wanted to add more, so at the moment I don't like them all spawning from the same spot, so I'm going to add a location. And let's add a cylinder. Now the thing with cylinder um, is I always like to you know, tick this little box at the bottom and it'll sort of allow you to see how these things are spawning, give you a bit more of a, an understanding. Um, and let's open up our radius, maybe we don't want as much. So we've got a little bit of like left and right there. And there's your height. This sort of is going to change the like where it's spawning from. So these are mostly thinner you know, things that you can mess with. Um, and if you wanted it to only be something on the outside, that'll have less overlap. There we go. It's looking quite nice. I think I've probably got too much spawn though for like what I want this effect to look like. And too much height. And is there any other stuff that we might want to mess with? Uh, acceleration is going to change it. Like we don't want to get too advanced with this. So just looking at some of the basic stuff. Let's add a bit of rotation. 
Um, do we want them to rotate or do we want them just to rotate when they spawn? Maybe just a bit of rotation here. So like, you know, slightly different. Is that better? No, nah. I'm going to delete that and add some rotation as they move. So rotation rate, initial rotation. And we can change that because right now that's quite a lot. Um, so we'll just do minus 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. I mean, it's still quite a lot, so I'm just going to do 0 0.1. There we go. That's a bit better now. And I think we could do, let's, shall we add a size by life? Let's add a size by life. So we've got initial um, size. So with this, we'll need to go in um, to it. And we've already got two array elements. So remember, I could have hit shift click. So at the start point, they are the, end of the size that we want them to be. And then by the end, I'm just gonna really get them quite small. But I'm gonna change it so they'll be big for a while and then they're only gonna get small towards the end of their life. There we go. That's looking quite nice, isn't it? That's not too bad. Um, and then what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to duplicate my emitter and then this one I'm going to spawn the lines. And we can hit solo so we could just see these. Um, with these, I'll just let that be compiling. Um, I'm going to spawn less of them and I don't want as much radius, so I'm going to say 12 on that. So these are mostly going to be in the middle, but they can have a bit more size. So let's go 10, 10, 10, 26, 26, 26. And it's looking and we don't want actually any rotation on these as well. So I'm just going to untick the rotation. And that is mostly going to be a particle system. So what we'll do is, let's give, I think we should give that a second to save. You know, the size by life as well. I don't like it, how much it shrinks. So we'll have a bit of shrink, but oops. But not that much. Okay, that's looking quite good. Um, I'm just going to make a, a few more changes actually because the line actually looks a bit similar to um, the star. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a, a white brush and just um, soften it out a little bit more, flatten it out a bit more. Um, let's turn that off and just clean it up a bit. Okay, that should be a little bit nicer now. I just think it's a touch too pointy before. Cool. Um, so I'm just going to save that, Control S, go back to Unreal, re import this by right clicking the same texture and saying re import. So it's a bit thicker. Um, I'm also going to increase the size a lot more of it. Spawn a few less. And let's actually just change the color as well. And again, I want even less left or right on this. So a lot of this is sort of like you know, looking at it and figuring out what's quite nice, what's not quite nice. And there we go. That's uh, 
my particle system. I think if I press G, looks a bit so magical, looks a bit so spawny. Um, you know, I want even less lines because I only want them to be so subtle. Um, and I think it might be worth sort of playing with like the um, how emissive some of them are as well, you know, and just sort of play with this value here. So instead of being four, again, you know, you could just experiment, and go crazy and just see what like 44 looks like or see what like one looks like. I did not sort of try those out. So you can see it looks quite, it's got like even more of a glow in it with like 44, but again, you know, those, those are sort of things you could change. Um, it is sort of a little bit transparent, but like I said, it's we're using additive um, processes instead of a masked, a masked version would look sharper. Um, but again, it's just, it's gonna come down to you and how, how you want to work. But for me, I'm happy with that. I think that looks quite magical. Uh, I'm gonna make my lines a touch bigger maybe. Um, but yeah, there you go. I hope you have found that useful. Um, if you have, please, you know, hit the like, subscribe. Um, and also it'd be really cool to see, you know, if you guys make something too, you know, share a link to it, I'd love to see it. So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.